Let's face it, the Stage Manager is one of the iPadOS 16 features that reveals our deepest guilty pleasures. And that guilty pleasure is our desire for big screens. A big screen makes everything better, especially gaming. So how does that work on the Stage Manager? Here's everything you need to know about gaming on external monitors, iPadOS 16 Stage Manager tips and tricks. Just like the Mac. At this time, finding information on anything gaming concerning this new feature can be tough. We know. So yeah, we are glad you were able to make it here. As indicated earlier, of all the other possibilities you could think of exploring, no matter how serious of a person you are, you can't help but wonder what gaming will be like on an iPad external display. So let's get right into it. Does gaming on the iPad external display work? Drum roll. Yes, it does. The new stage manager on the iPad OS 16 has come with the incredible magic and update of allowing you to display anything on your iPad on an external monitor and even interact with it, making it appear as though you are operating on an actual Mac screen. We must say that this is an important iPad OS 16 feature update because the iPad OS 15 and other earlier versions only allowed users to mirror their iPad screens and use it as a passive view for such activities as video edits and spreadsheet displays, other than being able actually to engage with it on the external monitor. So yeah, with this update, that means you can move your games over to a bigger screen and have more fun with it. But wait a minute, do you know how some movies can throw you off your prediction game with a twisty plot you never saw coming? Well, we have one of such plots for you in this video concerning gaming on external monitors with the stage manager, and you might want to brace for it. I will address it in a moment, but before that, here are some valuable tips and tricks you should and must know before you can even make it as far as getting your game on an iPad external display, because the truth is you may not even be ready to make it that far. Stage Manager Accessibility CNET.com has had this to say about this new iPad OS 16 feature. They report that Stage Manager brings a whole new layout that's also extremely alien feeling. It's powerful, and it's also strange and still not Mac-like enough. That's right. The new Stage Manager is unique in its own rights. For instance, did you know that you can only access the Stage Manager if you possess an iPad? with an M1 processor. That means getting Apple's recent iPad models, such as the M1 iPad Air, M1 12.9-inch iPad Pro, and the M1 11-inch iPad Pro. The issue here is that it immediately draws the line on who can use this awesome feature and who cannot. And this is concerning the obvious categorization of model and then price, because these new models can be quite costly. You can imagine how this has been met with many rebuttals from users. Still, in its defense, Apple has said that only iPads with the M1 processor can truly express the full strength of the multitasking experience of the stage manager. So if you even want to get to that gaming part, you will have to overcome that obstacle. Oh, and this is a good opportunity right here to subscribe to our channel if you haven't. There are yet more updates to come on your favorite devices. Subscribe now to avoid missing out using the Stage Manager. So, how do you even access the Stage Manager function on the iPad in the first place? This iPad OS 16 feature can be found in the Control Center as a cryptic icon with a block and three dots. Tapping on it will immediately cause you to enter Stage Manager mode, where you will see all of your open windows and tabs. It keeps your main operating tab in the middle of the screen and the other open tabs on standby to the left for easy accessibility. Thus, you can easily switch between tabs with a simple tap. To connect to an external monitor, which can be any monitor at all, you will need to connect the iPad to the monitor using a USB-C cable, and you are good to go. There are even settings that you can use to determine the position of your iPad on the external monitor to help calibrate the orientation of the mouse movement. So yeah, it keeps getting cool, right? But it has its crazy sides, and we will get to that moment. The plot twist. In the previous iPad OS versions, you could only access split view and slide over as your only multitasking options. But in this new iPad OS 16 feature, you can do these previous functions, resize, 
and move the tabs around the screen freely. The Stage Manager allows the opportunity to experience a true iPad external display. One of the best gaming tips of this feature is that you can actually play a game on any of your compatible iPad devices that support this feature while working on your external monitor. However, and here is that plot twist I mentioned earlier, you can transfer the game you want to play to the larger screen, but it will only appear as a side wave view. That means you would literally have to turn your head or your monitor in portrait orientation to be able to play the game, both of which are inconvenient. But at the end of the day, we can take comfort in the fact only the beta versions are out, and Apple might be working on fixing that. If it does get fixed, you can be sure to play your game on a possible high-resolution display, especially if you are on the larger 12.9-inch iPad Pro. Otherwise, devices like the 11.9-inch offer a display that may not appeal to users much, so that's a bit of a bummer. A few other crazy aspects of the bug problems of the stage manager is that you might not be able to access audio on your iPad when connected to an external monitor. You would have to insert an earpiece to get audio, so you might want to keep a tab on that. That's about it, folks. For more on what else the iPad OS 16 has to offer, you can check out this video we made on what Apple might not be telling you about the iOS 16. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.